Namaste friends, I am Anish Mandal and in my this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install LAMP server in Fedora 21. By the mean of LAMP server, it's include in Linux, Apache, the HTTP server, MySQL or MariaDB. In my this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install MariaDB database server, PHP. So let's begin. First, we'll open the terminal. Then switch ourselves to super user. Before doing anything, just make sure your Linux server is up to date. In Fedora, we can check by doing update command yum update. As you can see, my server is up to date. So, first in Linux machine, we will install Apache the HTTP server. You can get more information about Apache from its website apache.org So let's install Apache. To install Apache we can use yum repository all we just need to fire the command yum install http d here you can see i have already installed http daemon services to enable or disable the services we can use the command call system ctl space enable http -t. here you can see we have enabled our http daemon services to start the services with same command we just need to replace enable to start now our service is running we can test it by doing localhost configuration Here you can see our Apache web server is running. To stop the service, all we just need to change the command to stop. Then reboot the page, the service is stopped. And the service is start. Let's go to the session where we can install MariaDB. Normally in LAMP server, most of people install MySQL server. But in my this tutorial and in my future tutorial, I'm going to replace MySQL with robust and scalable and reliable SQL database MariaDB. As the future migration, why it's required, it will be covered in my next tutorial. So let's install MariaDB. All we just need to fire up the command yum install MariaDB then Maria data search space minus five. As you can see the total size is 122 MB installed size. So we just need to wait. It's depend on your internet connection. Here, yeah, MariaDB server services is installed. Now we can enable the SQL daemon services using the same command: system ctl enable mysql and start the service. After starting the services, it is best practice to set a root password because by default the root password is blank. So we can set the password or we can change the secure configuration using following command mysql underscore secure underscore 
installation it will ask you the current root password and by default it's none so just press enter now it asking you to set a new password for MariaDB root password authentication you want to set the root password yes new root password I'll set it to then after setting the password you just need to press N enter by default it will remove anonymous user then disallow root login from remotely that means the local host can able to access this feature from the system it's also asking to remove the, the test database and it will reassign the privilege table done we have done the MariaDB database installation now we will going to install PHP. PHP stand for PHP Hypertech Preprocessor. It is a open source scripting language widely used suited for web development and it can be easily embedded with any web application. To install PHP, all we just need to again fire up a command yum install PHP. Same way, the installation depends on your internet speed done so we can create a test file where we can check our php server services is working or not bi slash var www html let's create test.php i am not going deep into this command and the php configuration it will be covered in my future part after creating a php page or php website we just need to restart apache server services that can be done using the following command system ctl a restart http the server services is restarted and now we can open the test.php to make sure our php services is up and running but to use PHP server services with MySQL, you can see the PHP module of MySQL is missing. You can install that module or you can search any PHP module on yum repository using command yum search. PHP. Here you can see the module pack which supports PHP. For our case, we just need to install PHP MySQL module. So we will use command yum install PHP MySQL. Once the package is installed, again we just need to restart the HTTP daemon services. And once we reload the page, here you can see MySQL support is now enabled using my PHP module. Now our LAMP server is up and running to create application or to create a PHP based website. In future I am going to show you how we can create and deploy PHP based web services and web application. But in addition we can install for our local database server PHP MyAdmin services which will help us to manage SQL database via browser to perform various tasks such as creating, modifying or deleting the database. To install PHP MyAdmin all we just need to fire up a command yum install php my admin same the download size and installation needs depend on your internet speed done we can check the my php admin page also but first we need to restart the server ser services and php my admin 
we can use our root to as a username and password here you can see now we are able to create edit the database of our SQL server through browse but again if we want to use php my admin from remote location we just need to do the configuration setting to change it should accessible globally we need to do the configuration setting on conf page etc http demon services .com. Here you can see the required field. It's only grant from local host. We just need to comment it out. And add a line. Require all granted. If we want, we can specify the IP ranges also. Then write and quit. Restart the daemon services and done. Now we can access this from any system. That's all for this tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install LAMP in Ubuntu using one click configuration. And in my future part, I'm going to show you how we can make PHP based application. So, thank you.